Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for December 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th, Monday through Thursday, for my Leos. Hello, my Leos. Now, you know that when I'm reading Monday through Thursday, yes, I use my two Radley Valentine decks, my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message, my Angel Tarot cards, I'll pull one. I'll then also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I've prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Okay. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. Whatever the message is, I just deliver. Now, this we are entering into probably the most intense energy time that we have seen in a long time. I would say even more so than this year. So I want you to be aware because knowledge is power. And when you know it, you can handle it. Okay? And you, my Leos, you are leaders, so you're going to be called to handle it better. Anyway, now, we have a lot of things. I've talked about this, but we're going to recap a little bit and give a little more information. So the 14th, we have the new moon in Sagittarius. It's a really strong, burning, it's going to like burn things up type of uh, new moon. Um, we also have a, sol a total solar eclipse happening in the southern hemisphere. People in South America, um, Southwest Africa, um, also Antarctica should be able to see this. Now, I think it's more on the, you know, the east side of South um, America, but it's a total solar eclipse. So be with the new moon and this, it's like, you know, it's <laughs> type of thing. New energy, new, but it's more so. We have on the 15th, I've talked about Venus going into Sagittarius. So that will help us. The other thing is that Chiron, C-H-I-R-O-N, does go direct on the 15th also. So Chiron has been journeying for the last, I would say, maybe eight months, don't quote me on that, in Hades, in the darkness. He has gone into the underground. And Chiron is the wounded healer. He, I mean, his story is very, very tragic, but because he's gone through all of this, he does come to help. Okay, now he is going direct, and that is on the 15th. We talk about the 17th, yes, Saturn going into, transitioning to into Aquarius, the uh, 19th, Jupiter in Aquarius. Then we have on the 21st, we have what's going to be called the great, um, oh my gosh, what is, it's the great, um, oh my goodness, transition, no. Oh my goodness, I can't remember. Anyway, that's weird. Any anyway, that just came, but it's the it's 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 big stuff. Anyway, we also have that is in the northern hemisphere winter solstice. We also which is the shortest day of the year, and then in the southern hemisphere we have their summer solstice, which is the longest. And on the twenty first, we also go into Capricorn. So, oh my gosh! But anyway, you'll you you can look that up, but. That is a major energy on the 21st, okay? There is, there's a lot of things. So our job, what we need to do, we need to put out positive energy. We need to push this towards that positive, okay? Okay, so really, really strong stuff. And um, just, like I said, it, you know, I would say, and even, you know, so I would say it's going to be at least 10 days of this, but it doesn't mean that on the 24th that things just change and, and then it, you know, it, but it, cause there's, there's a lot of things still going on. Okay. But this is going to be the strongest. And if you know it, if you feel yourself reacting to this energy and you know why this is, you can work with it. That's why I bring this up. Anyway, we have three cards. The first two are reversed. That has strong energy, too. So let's see what we have for the week for my Leos. First card up, the Page of Michael. Michael is your air energy. It's our Aquarius. Remember, got a lot of things going on with Aquarius. It's also our Gemini. It's also our Leo. Now, it's very, it, I'm sorry, did I say Leo? It's also our Libra. Wow, I'm getting all weird with your reading. Anyway, 
It is our thought processes. It's hearing news. Now, pages are impetuous. Pages are optimistic. Pages, their underlying energy is earth energy. So it's kind of their work energy. But Michael is the air energy. So this is our thought processes. This is um, you know, the, this is those things that come to us and, you know, I'm thinking, okay, I'm just getting this. This is those thoughts that come to us in the middle of the night. This is those thoughts that guide us that, you know, some many times over my Leos that we do something without knowing why, but we just do it and we follow it and it works out. It's, it's that connection with that higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, your voice of the universe, your divine, but it's that connection on that energetic field okay and it's not so much that it's here in your heart and it's not so much that it's here in your gut though the gut does play a little bit to it but it's here and it's like there's this there's this reasonability to it you know that this is the way it needs to go okay so the page of michael is truthful perspective perceptive analytical blunt an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. Now, you know, we do have, you know, I mean, we do have Uranus retro in, um, you know, in Taurus right now. So that's always expect the unexpected with your jobs, you know, or with your career opportunity too. So there could be some new changes in your job or career too with this. You could be hearing about this. You could also be pulled upon, pulled, I'm feeling pulled. I know it should be called, but I'm feeling pulled to um, to step up to a higher position in your company. Um, they may not necessarily give you the title or the money, but they're going to want you to step into it also. Here we go. Your next card, reversed, the five of Michael. Now, again, we have this Michael. Now, five Fives have this change energy. You know, it could be positive, it could be negative. This whole week is going to have total change energy. This is transformation, okay? This is this is going to be um, something that is in a bigger realm, okay? So there is going to be a lot, and as we're getting to that new moon, remember, you can always do the releasing, and then as we get to the new moon, you do the requesting, so this is something, you know, something that something's got to give, something's got to move, something you feel this so strongly. Now, I don't necessarily know that you have to be the one to do anything with it. It's happening around you. You may have to make some of those choices in whether you accept it or not. But I feel it, more, you know, it's swirling, the, it's swirling around you. And my Leos, you're going to feel it too. You're going to feel it too. Many times over, you're going to want to just jump right in. The thing is, remember what I said about the page of Michael, those thoughts that tell you should you or shouldn't you, it's going to be more cerebral than it is going to be gut or heart. Your, your emotions might tell you to jump in, but you need to do what your brain is telling you. Okay? Okay. So the five of Michael, the situ this situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. So one of these things is just kind of like having faith and just kind of saying, okay, I have no idea what's going to happen, but it, you know, it's also kind of giving up some of the control that we like to have. Anyway, last card, strength, strength. Now, this is Archangel Ariel. Archangel Ariel, I was actually reading about Archangel Ariel before, um, I came on. Ariel has a feminine type of energy. You know, archangels have both the masculine and feminine. Ariel leans towards that feminine. However, Ariel is also about, you know, the things that we need. Okay, very. There's a lot of practicality with Ariel, but there's also a lot of this air. This, um, you know, so there's all there's a lot of physical type of energy with Ariel. Uh, you know, wins, but yet if we need to have food on the table. But they also called Ariel the lioness, too. It doesn't mean that she has the fire energy, but so there's, but there's just a whole bunch that she, he, she encompasses. But when archangels come to visit, we write their names down and we call upon them. Now, one, one, that does have a, 
you know, that's a kind of a 10 plus a 1 transition, new beginning, 1, 1, new beginning, new beginning, 1 plus 1, 2 decisions to be made, choices to have, okay? And again, you know, this is 5, has change energy, and a lot of times that has to do with choices too. But if you look to this, you know, we have Ariel and holding on to the lion. We are the lioness, so this is to be strong. This is to stand firm. Um, this is, you know, what you know to be right. Continue to do that. Hold firm um, to what you know to be right, okay? Don't, you know, this isn't about... This isn't about negotiation, and it's not about compromise. If you know something is right, you know, I mean, literally, you need to hold firm to that. Now, strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. Let's go on. So there's a, you know, there, there. It, this is interesting. Um, you know, that page does get to me a little bit. Um, you know, the page again has that work, but it also could be what you're meant to be, what you're meant to do. You know, work, career, job isn't always what is your life purpose. So this could also be about finding, this could be a week, especially with all of this, about finding your life purpose. And that's not always easy. You know, you know sometimes we have a very romantic idea of that, and yet, and then when we find ourselves in that life purpose, we're like, what the heck? <laughs> you know, I kind of liked waking up at 10 o'clock. Why do I have to wake up at 3 o'clock to get some sort of a spiritual message? So anyway, our last card, here we go. Five of Earth. Okay, so Earth energy is our Capricorn, our Taurus. It's also our Virgo. Solid something, someone you can touch. Uh, fives have that change energy again. It can be positive or negative. It can be neutral, but it's still not easy. You know, five energy is not easy. We also have a five five type of energy, so there could be a little bit of a angel number with that. Just as the one one eleven can be an angel number too. So you might want to look those up on the internet too. But the five of Earth is kind of like you know. And when I was talking about life purposes or doing what you're you know to be right. Many people, um, you know, many people don't go down the path where they are supposed to because they worry about their money. You know, sometimes it is about, um, you know, just kind of having faith in that higher, in your higher power, your guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine archangels, who, you know, Archangel Ariel. Remember, Archangel Ariel provides for your material needs. I, you know, I talked about that, which is weird because then we get the five of earth, which talks about um, being worried about your material needs. So there, so there could be that choice is coming. Again, what is your life purpose? And it might be, well, this might be my life purpose, but this fulfills my material needs. So there could be that choice too. Now, Let's go and see with my crystal deck what might help, what crystal might help to help you through this week. Again, okay, this one just fell. Here we are. Let's see what this is. Celestine, Celestine. Now, I always get this mixed up with, our, with my um, angel light. But I think this is my Celestine. Make sure I have candles here. I don't want to get burned. So th is this my Celestine? I think this is my Celestine here. Quite pretty. I love this. I love this one. Anyway, I put this between my candles. Here we go. But, again, remember fulfilling your purpose. What is your life purpose? This is communicating with angels, tranquility, good fortune, deep meditation. So... Again, you know, my Leos, this, like I said, 10 days is going to be very, um, very intense. Um, I'm not saying that it ends on the 24th. It's, in fact, no, it doesn't. But this, uh, this could be some of the most intense energy that we have felt, if not just for this year, um, in a very long time. Okay, okay, but we get through it. We do get through it. We need to keep positive, and Leos, like I said, you will be part of the, you know, you need to lead the people 
that are around you, your friends, you know, you need to be their cheerleader. Okay? Okay. Anyway, my Leos, if you enjoy my readings, remember the button. Like, share, subscribe. You know, get, the, get this out there. It does help, and I thank you. As always, my Leos, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.